Hi everyone, this is Mr. Nook. Today I will show you how you can create NFT tokens and you can sell on uh, the market. And you can do all those things without uh, buying any cryptocurrency. So what is NFTs? So NFTs are non-fungible tokens. Non-fungible means something which cannot be replaceable and it is unique. So just like we have cryptocurrencies on the blockchain, we have these uh, uh, digital assets on the blockchain. Uh, if you want to uh, sell various artworks, then you can put that on the blockchain and sell it. This is known as uh, non-fringeable token on the blockchain. So NFTs are unique cryptographic tokens. So that is existing on a blockchain and it cannot be replicated. So in that way, the authenticity of it is guaranteed to the owner. So this will allow NFT to be sold and traded. So if you look at uh, most expensive NFTs ever sold, when uh, the NFT market was uh, booming, that time uh, some of the NFTs sold were as high as $91 million. The merge is the one uh, which was sold for $91 million. And there were other uh, NFTs like every days, the first 5,000 days, uh, which was sold for 69 million. Then there was one called clock, 52 million dollars. Uh, it counts the number of days uh, the founder of Wikileaks, Julian Assange, has spent in prison. Then uh, there were various other uh, NFTs. So you might have seen this CryptoPunk. So CryptoCom is a series of 10,000 unique pixel art characters which is created as NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain by Larva Labs. So each CryptoPunk NFT has a set of unique characteristics and these were uh, sold. So that is in nutshell about NFTs. Now I'll show you how you can create NFTs. So to uh, create NFTs, you first need to have a wallet. So what you can do is you can get a MetaMask wallet, which is an Ethereum based wallet. You can um, uh, add it as a Chrome plugin. You can go to the Chrome store and add it. Uh, I will not cover how you can set up um, the MetaMask wallet because it is straightforward. You can just uh, go to the Chrome store, add the wallet, and you can put in the password. Now, once you have that, uh, you can go to a market where uh, NFTs are sold. So let me uh, go to this website. It's called Rarible which is very popular for uh, uh, selling NFTs. It is a marketplace for NFTs. So if you, as you can see here, you can see various NFTs here. So these are various NFTs that you see here. Um, and these are the 30 days trending NFTs. So you see some of these NFTs. Now if you go here and check the all the explore all the art collections, you can see um volume price of various nfts so let me try to see the nfts marketplace to see various nfts now if you see these are uh, various nfts so let me sort it by price high to low you can see here nfts as i has uh, a very large amount they have people have put in so these are some other nfts that you see here so in this way you people can come here and sell various digital collectibles on this platform called rarible and rarible has a cryptocurrency of its own rari so if that is logged into the platform then you don't have to pay the transaction uh, service fees to the platform Otherwise, you'll have to pay a service charge when you sell it here. So let me connect the MetaMask wallet here. So this is the connect wallet. which is asking me MetaMask wallet. So I'll say MetaMask wallet. So when I click on MetaMask wallet, it is connecting to that MetaMask wallet that I have. So I'll have to put in the password here. Okay, to that will unlock my wallet. So it is signing in to the wallet as you can see here. So it will take a moment for uh, it to sign in to the MetaMask wallet and it will connect and link it to the 
variable account so that way if i have any nfts there uh, it will show all the nfts that i have there so now it is connected so now let me go to the account here and now if you want to see the nfts that i have i have minted few nfts here uh, which are digital uh, artworks so this is one nft that i made this is one more nft so i'll show you what that is and i will also show you how you can create this nfts so this is a dog running a marathon and this is a dog reading a newspaper so let that load once it loads i'll show you so this is being sold for 2.48 ethereum which is like seven thousand hundred and fifty eight dollars so i have put it on sale here this is dog reading newspaper it is again 2.48 ethereum seven thousand one hundred fifty eight us dollars now if i want to create an nft i can come here so if you see here this is the wallet here uh, this is the amount that i have less than one dollars so now if i want to create an nft i can come and say nfts so now it's asking me which is the blockchain you need for creating um, the nft so you can create nfts in various blockchain ethereum polygon base rari chroma so these are various uh, blockchain so the most popular one is ethereum so it is asking me now uh, you want to create a single um, one or multiple one so if you want to create nfts and share with a large number of community members you can go for multiple now i am creating only for uh, uh, one so i will say single now uh, it is connected to my ethereum wallet so now you can upload here your png gif webp mp4 mp3 or uh, it should be a maximum of 100 mbs so if i upload it here any artwork so let me upload an artwork here so let me upload this artwork of a dog singing now here it shows me put on marketplace if i toggle it off it will not be put in the market let me say put it on the marketplace so let me uh, give an amount here so i'll say sell it for uh, 0.15 ethereum so if you see here variable fee you can eliminate this fee by clicking uh, or locking the rari so the date of list of expiration so how long this listing should be active i'm saying three months so the other option you see is unlock once purchased so content will be unlocked after successful transaction if i want to secure it further i can put in a digital key so i will turn that off for now now if i want to create a collection i can create a collection here uh, i don't want to create a collection so i'm just leaving it aside free minting so buyer will pay the gas fee for minting so your nft won't be minted into the blockchain if you don't uh, uh, toggle this on if you toggle this on um, it won't be minted in the blockchain your nft will be stored for further minting by the buyer so when the buyer buys it using that gas fee it will be minted so now you can put in a name i'll say a dog dog singing at the concert so i can put in the description if required so this shows me royalties so if this same nft if it is getting again sold uh, in the secondary market if i sell to one person and again it is sold to another person it can show me how much um, royalties should i received you can put in zero if you want to make it a one-time sale and if you make it if you want to continuously earn income um, by the sales then you can say a 10 percent royalty so if you say that you'll get 10 percent royalty so i'm going to say create an item so now what it is doing is it is started creating that nft so it's uploading all the media sets and metadata to ipfs then uh, from there it will mint the sun it will send the transaction to create the nft and this transaction has to be approved by my metamask wallet and after that it will be put on sale so if you want you can uh, go and change the price later on that is not a problem but you cannot change the uh, digital asset within the nft now if you see that is uh, asking me we are not able to estimate the gas fee 
So let's say I want to proceed. Estimated fee is this much. Maximum fee is this. So you don't have enough Ethereum to account to pay for transaction fee. By Ethereum on the main network is what it's saying. So let me say uh, reject and come back and uh, check in free minting here. I did it purposefully because if I am not able, I am not checking this option, then it will ask me Ethereum to mint it. Now if I um, say free minting, it will not ask me Ethereum to mint. So now it's uploading all the media data assets to metadata to IPFS. So if we are uh, minting it directly, it is costing around 365 dollars to mint in the ethereum blockchain because the uh, i uh, the transaction fee ga gas fees are very high on the ethereum network right now so that is how uh, other blockchain networks started getting created like polygon around where the cost is less so let me say sign in so it has approved the transaction now it is being put on sale it is trying to put it on sale Let's see how it goes. Now it's asking me for the signature. I'll say sign. Now you see this Ethereum is already created. Now I can view this NFT. Now if I want to share it with another person, I can copy it and give the link and that person will be able to buy it using Ethereum. So now if you go here to variable, it will take a few moments for uh, yeah, it to come here and that image to show up uh, see now we don't have the content for this nft yet. check back later so after some time uh, this will get refreshed but you can see the the cost here this is the cost now uh, if somebody goes and buys it then um, uh, that amount will be transferred to your account so that is how basically you create an nft and sell it in the market so i hope this information is useful thank you very much Bell icon. Never miss an update.